so I am on call today. I'm with Marlene over there. Hi, Marlene. Hi. I'm on call. I'm starting my obstetric call. It's like it's almost four o'clock now, so it's from four o'clock till one. It actually isn't from four. It's actually from half seven in the morning till one a.m. Like sixteen hours. But um, because of our amazing rage, it's starting at four. So now, uh, yeah, I'll just take you guys with me. Hopefully, I can vlog. If I can't, then it's a situation. But yeah, I. We've been quite tired as of late. We've been tired. Marlene is also tired over <laughs> there. You know, we're just pushing through. You know what? Going <laughs> through it. <laughs> we're just pushing through. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my fit just now. All right, guys. So this is my core outfit and my bags, of course. You guys can see they've got my suitcase there, my lunch bag, and I have my cute outfit. As you guys know, my top is from Yuko Medical Clothing. How cute does that look? And I'm wearing my blue scraps from Tank. And I'm wearing my some Crocs. You guys will see them. My head thing is also from Yuko Medical Clothing. And yes, let's get this call going. So whenever I go on call, I basically get all the stuff that I have here. As you guys can see, then I go to the on-call room. So that's where it's actually in the hospital within like somewhere between the wards and we have our student rooms you guys will see it a bit later and yeah so i'm just walking there right now with marlene and yeah so we have like a password thing that we have to put at the door and i was like am i in the right place but anyway <laughs> yeah so yeah getting there and you guys will see how cute it looks and stuff actually not cute it looks basic but you guys can see and tell anyways And we're here. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is our on call room. You can see it's nothing fancy, really. Like, we're gonna have to change these sheets. And that's just the table with the chair there. And there's Marlene. My bags, my shoes. Let me show Marlene's shoes. Yes, of course. Cats come here. Yeah. Wow. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> so, yeah, guys, we just have to change. Our oh, stuff like we're not, I don't know if we'll do it now, but yeah, this is essentially where we sleep, and yeah. So as you guys can see, we're basically just um, what do you call like basically preparing our bed now. So we like preparing our bed before the call actually starts. Oh, and we actually combine our bed because there are three of us so we like sleeping together instead of like because there are only two beds and three of us so we prefer to sleep together it's myself marlene and Namonde. so we there um electric blanket and stuff because it is so damn cold the first evening when we were here we froze literally did not sleep on call oh sorry about the visuals um right now but anyway so as you can see electric blankets a bit of a blankie there and um yeah so we're just setting this up so that when we come back in the evening we don't have to like be out here working on the bed we can just literally just fall asleep yeah so you guys can watch Molly and i prepping the bed <laughs> another thing i wanted to say guys i think it is actually worth it investing in a sleeping bag because in a sleeping bag it literally avoids a lot of luggage you won't have all of this oh child like i'm actually gonna invest in a sleeping bag and if you're uh, going into your clinical years please invest in a sleeping bag over there <laughs> to go to blood bank and y'all this video is just to show you guys just how far it is and how much i have to walk just look at the color change of like the floor just to see how far i've been walking like how much i've been walking obviously this is like speeded up and stuff but like yo you will walk to get to the blood bank but anyway it's part of the job what can i say 
but yeah you definitely get your steps in hey like you will devs get them in Some blood over here. I'm going to steal. I do not endorse it at all, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. What am I going to steal? You might ask. I am going to steal gel coats. I need pink gel coats, and in Ghana we don't have. So I'm going all the way to OBS to go get some because I need to put up a drop on this lady. And we have tried so much, the Delcos, we're just not winning. So, I'm gonna go steal a pink. Hopefully nobody catches me. Again, I do not endorse theft. I have worn, again, this is for the benefit of the patient. And it's a hospital's problem that we are under-resourced, if you ask me. So, I got some. I don't know if we'll win with these ones, because they're quite big. But that's whatever guys i saw a lady Ish. i don't know why i'm whispering like these corridors just make me feel like it's spooky and i need to whisper for some odd reason but i saw a lady who has two uteruses guys two how interesting is that at first we thought she had she has an ectopic pregnancy and then she was like no she's not having she was like no but then she once had a, an operation just two weeks ago where they told her she's got two uteruses and i told her her baby's fine now we're like two uteruses at first we we're just like maybe she doesn't like you know she's not explaining properly or oh, 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 oh. so i went there to ask her some more questions she's like yes she was showing her operation score and everything so now the doctors are like oh oh my gosh we have to go back and check what's actually going on here because if she had two uteruses and we're thinking it's in a topic maybe it's not that's what's saying oh this lighting what's happening Ucha, ucha. So fine. How oh, we like if she has two uteruses and we're thinking she's got an ectopic, then surely we need to double check and check what's going on. Thing is, this lady, guys, like even I mean I don't know a lot ne, about like guy and stuff because I'm still learning. But when she came in, I was like, this lady looks like she's having a ruptured ectopic. The way she walked in, everything, everything, I was like, she's, she's having a ruptured ectopic. Like period. But anyway, so now we just book like extra, like whatever's it was for her, cause like the ultrasound thingy that we have is not showing the greatest like picture. So now we booked like other stuff for her, like emergency to sort of see what's happening. So it was very interesting. And then my two other patients, shame guys, they both having miscarriages. <gasps> the first lady, I literally saw the baby guys, like the, the tiny fetus. It was so weird. Like I saw like an actual like baby that's forming you know like when it's still the tiny feet but they haven't even separated when like the genital hasn't even like popped up it's just like a stud thing there it was actually so weird like it was scary at first like i was scared to even like touch it because i'm like what would i even do like when i touch this thing and stuff and like i was scared to like oh you know but eventually like the nurses came and this other doctor came and then they like helped me and then we took out the, the, the like the fetus and stuff we showed it to the mom and then i just examined her and like peeved her to feel if there any more clots and she had some clots in there so yeah she was very sad and then my other lady as well also had a miscarriage Ooh, she also had clots in there it's so, like the baby was still passing and stuff so so far that's what i've seen that's what's happening now we're just gonna eat because child we hungry we are hungry just eating now we're done eating <sighs> i wish we could just nap or like they call us on when they're patients but like yo there's no way you see she's ready she one mistake oh god, god. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up dude and marlene guys when marlene is sleeping yeah she doesn't hear phone calls you, marlene, <laughs> you will call marlene guys. you will call her and call and go ah when okay. she's out now we sleep and then we miss um what drowned even no, we won't miss what drowned but let's say we sleep now 
throughout the call. I wonder if they'd actually come and wake us up. Mm. Anyway. I'm tired. What's going on? I'm tired. <laughs> I feel the sleep here. Yes. I follows you. Like, I eh eh. Two hours to go. Bye. Guys. We're heading to blood bank. Oh, guys, it's cold actually. Here's Marlene. It's up, I think it's around 12, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And I'm a bit alive now. I'm not. <laughs> but I'm feeling cold and we're heading to blood bank to just catch some blurs. And yeah, like hopefully it takes a bit of time. So when we come back, we're just like, you know what, we're just gonna head to sleep. Like, yeah, I'm sleepy now. Hi, guys. Turns out we actually were not supposed to, but it's fine. So now we're going. And you know the thing that took so long? That thing would have been so quick, guys. We've been done in 30 minutes. But in that ward, there's literally nothing. Nothing. Literally. You get there, you want a syringe, there's no syringe. You get there, you want what, what, it's not there. So it's, it just took so long. Yo, way. But um, now we're leaving. Guys, I am so exhausted. Like, anyway, how cute is my fit? How cute! I like it so much. <sighs> now I'm just gonna get back, shower. Probably, well, hopefully, go do my hair and then sleep. Anyway, bye.